Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn and this is a video to show you how to install Corsair's Force MP500 or MP510 NVMe M2 drives. This is a video with a bit more in-depth view on how to install these drives and how to do it in various different ways as well as the process of setting up in Windows. Now it starts with a time-lapse video because I'm doing a time-lapse of a new build and I thought while I was doing it it would be prudent to show you how to install these drives. I've done similar videos with the WD Black SN750 and the Samsung Evo 970 which I'll link to in the description. But the process is basically the same because these NVMe drives are installed in the same manner and it's dead easy. First thing you need to do is check that your motherboard has slots for these M NVMe drives. You'll find that out on the manufacturer's website or in the motherboard manual. You'll find sometimes on modern motherboards you get multiple slots. This one here is an Asus Strix gaming motherboard. It has two slots, one underneath the heatsink and one further up near the CPU. I'm using an MSI motherboard which has three slots on it as well as an expander card. There are other ways to install NVMe drives though which I'll show you as well. The process for the standard installation is really simple here. I'll show you with a 970 Evo but it's the same with the Corsair Force drive. You basically find the slot on your motherboard, you plug the drive in and you screw it down. The great thing about these drives is there's no need to add in any extra power. You don't need SATA cables or any power cable from your power supply unit. It gets the power straight from the motherboard so it's really really easy to install. And then you get a ridiculously fast SSD drive that's much faster than a standard SSD drive and certainly a hell of a lot faster than a platter based hard drive and you can put your games on it and they'll run a lot quicker, the load screens will take less time, you get less lag when gaming, it's fantastic. I like to use these as Windows boot drives as well. Now here's another option, this is a PCIe adapter that allows you to install NVMe drives without an M2 slot on your motherboard or if you already filled up your M2 slots this is another option. This uses the PCIe X4 slot on your motherboard and allows you to install a single extra NVMe drive with ease. You, again I'm showing you here with a 970 EVO but you can do it with the Corsair Force MP500 or 510 or any other NVMe drive that you wish to add meaning you could potentially add up to two terabytes of extra NVMe storage with ease. The process is pretty simple as you saw, you plug it in, you screw it down, you find the X4 slot on your motherboard, plug that in. Now I'll add a link in the description to this adapter and where to buy it from. Again, you don't require any extra power for this one so that's pretty fantastic and it's a really easy way to add an extra drive. If you look closely you'll see I've already filled up the two drives on this motherboard and so this allows me to add an extra third drive without any other slots required which is fantastic. Dead easy, to plug it in, screw it down, make sure it's secure. Now this is one of several different devices that you can buy, peripherals that allow you to expand the NVMe storage on your motherboard and you can add more Corsair Force NVMe drives if you wish which is really fantastic. Another way to do it is to use a full-on M2 expander card. Now I had several WD Black SN750s that are installing on a recent build that I've done with the MSI motherboard and the three slots on the motherboard but I wanted to add more being really greedy wanted to add six or seven NVMe drives so I did my research before I purchased the motherboard which is worth doing by the way because I found this one has three on it but it also comes with a free expander card which allows you to add an extra four and this is a much bigger card than the other option I was showing you earlier on but it has four slots on it as well as heat sinks and the cooling fan. This one does require power and it is pretty hefty but it is actually really easy to use. You can see you need some extra power here in terms of six pins so you do need some room in your case and plenty of power to give it the juice that it needs. However the ability to add four M2 drives by just plugging it into a PCIe slot makes this card well worth having. Also you don't need to worry about RAID with these so you can install a mishmash. You can see here I've got uh, WD Black, SN750, 970 EVO and uh, Intel Optane drive as well. So you, know, you could also install Corsair drives in here. You can install several of the same drives and then RAID them. Depends how you want to set it up. This is a brilliant little drive. It's quite chunky, it does take up quite a bit of room. If you watch the video I did of the build on this machine and the Corsair 680 Crystal you'll see 
I didn't have quite enough room to install my graphics card vertically because of the size of this expander card. First world problems. However, it is brilliant if you want to add multiple drives and you don't have all that space. I do believe you can buy this separately as well, so it's worth hunting around for, as it's not necessarily required to run with the MSI motherboard because it's a PCIe card so you just need to plug it in and the computer automatically recognizes it. Again it's worth checking that your motherboard can handle NVMe drives before you get started with this process. Most modern motherboards are capable of handling them and they're an excellent addition. Ridiculously easy. It's much easier than adding a PLATA hard drive or even a standard SSD drive, although those ones are probably cheaper options, they're not as fast as NVMe drives, and the Corsair Force 500 and 510 are surprisingly fast as well. Decent little things. Here you can see the MSI expander plugged in and ready to go. Now the steps once you've finished all this, depending on which way you want to choose doing it, is basically pretty simple. You go into Windows, you open up the Explorer, and you click on manage. You can see the drive is not recognized here. I've only got two drives. So you need to go into manage and you go in computer management. And there, from there you can see there's a disk management option. And you can find that by just a shortcut to find that is just to press the start button and then search for disk management and you get create and format hard disk partitions which sounds scary but actually isn't that bad and it's basically the same process when you're in here you should find the drive is in there and not recognized or not currently assigned a drive letter so you can see if you look further down here's one that's black unallocated disk 2 and it's the right size so check that it's the right size and then all you need to do is allocate that a disk letter with a new simple volume. So you create a new simple volume, click go through all this process and assign a drive letter. Once you've done that it will be recognized in Explorer and you can get on and use it. This has been the Provoke Pro and hope you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe and come back for more in future. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the other videos. Thanks for watching.